Hey guys! So here we are, we're back in my den, and we're here because something is really not quite feeling right about this room to me ever since I painted it this dark blue color, which I color drenched. Um, I don't know if it's because I chose the wrong shade of blue, or if it's just not styled correctly. I know there's lighting issues and they, it, that I am struggling with, um, just due to a lack of outlets in the room for supplemental lamp lighting, but for starters, I think what I might do is undrench the room. Um, and what I mean by that is, let me show you. All right, so when I painted the room, I color drenched it, which means I also painted all of the trim the same color and the ceiling. And the window trim here as well. And the window trim and the baseboards, I'm not minding so much. The window trim, kind of. What's really bugging me is the fact that this door frame trim is the dark blue. And I think the reason is because if you look here, it's dark blue on this side, but it's white on the other side. And I just feel like it bothers me that it's white here and dark blue here. I just feel like this whole piece is one piece of trim and it should all be the same color. So that's been bugging me. I feel like I want to make that white. Um, and then at the same time, I think I'm going to make the window trim white as well, because this is sort of bugging me too, because the window itself is white. And I feel like ever since I painted it, this dark blue color, it's making these, this part of the window pop out in a bad way. Whereas when it was white, it sort of all just blended in and the window felt larger or bigger. For now, I'm going to paint these trim white and then go from there. And if I'm still not liking it, then I will either add some wall trim on the lower third of the wall, similar to what I have here, and then paint that white and then just keep the dark on the upper or I might just paint, repaint the whole room. I'm just not loving the color. And one thing I noticed in the last couple of weeks is I'm spending a lot less time in here. I used to sit in this room like every day. And then now I noticed the other day, a few days have gone by and I hadn't even spent any time in the room at all. And I think it's just because it's so dark. And even though I love dark moody rooms on Pinterest, I have pinned tons of them. I love them aesthetically. Um, there's two things. One, I might've picked the wrong color, but two, maybe I just don't like living within a dark moody space as much as I love them aesthetically. And I think that they look beautiful. I don't know if it's for me in terms of living in it. So that's where we're at. Okay, gonna get started on painting this. <laughs> I'm going to actually switch around my office and my den and just swap the rooms because my den is actually smaller than the office and I feel like it makes more sense to put my office in the smaller room because really I'm just sitting at the desk in there and I like to face the window. The size of the room really doesn't matter so yeah I think I think I'm going to swap them and then that way who knows maybe the dark will be okay for my office. That's my office set up now. Um, but yeah, this room's larger, so I think, hey Kiwi, <laughs> I think, um, I think I'm going to switch them and just try it out and see. And then that, I, I kind of liked it. I mean, I still might change this color because I don't think I'm loving the color. I don't hate it, but I don't, there's something about it that I'm not feeling. So I can't remember if I showed you how this turned out painted white, but there it is. I do prefer it white. I think it just looks cleaner because it's white on it, on the inside and on this side. So it just seemed odd having just this, this piece of trim blue, because it seemed very disjointed from the rest. Whereas now it's just like all one big piece. So I do prefer that. I do want to paint this back white. I will, I will do that. But first, let's switch all this furniture around. One, two, three. 
Okay, the rooms are swapped. Um, here, let me show you how it looks. I'll say my office is swapped. The other one's still kind of in disarray, but I'm liking this better. I think that the side, so okay. Sorry about that cord. I'm gonna actually use the cord cover and then um, paint it the same color as the wall, but I'm gonna hold off and make sure that I'm not changing the color of the wall. But I have to say, even the color of the wall is bugging me less now that this is an office. It feels nicer. I debated if I should put that bookcase where it is or if I should have it on this wall and sort of make it an extension of my desk, like an L shape. Um, but for now, I put it on this wall, mostly because this wall is missing baseboard and I figured the bookcase will cover that for now. <laughs> the couch covered it before. Uh, yeah, as you can see, there's baseboard along here, but this wall doesn't have any. So that's why I put it there, which means my desk is kind of tight because I do need to have my notebook and I like to have my calendar on my desk as well for when I'm scheduling appointments. But for now, I think that this will work. This feels a lot better. Um, and then this as the den slash second sitting room, it's not set up yet. I'm going to get this room organized and kind of see how it's looking and then determine my priority. But I have to tell you, I'm not hating this color as much anymore being my office. It's dark, but it's kind of cozy, right? All right. So now all of the furniture here is set up in what will be the new den. I definitely want to make over this room. I feel like the thing that bothers me the most is the border at the top. So I want to remove that and then put some crown molding, something different. I would love to add wall trim in here. The only problem is this is actually beadboard, like I was saying. Let me show you here. Yeah. Which, you know, I don't mind. However, I prefer. I would prefer to have some paneling and wall trim rather than the beadboard, which ends here. It doesn't go to the top. I think that's why they added that trim because the beadboard doesn't carry all the way to the ceiling. Um, so because of that, I would like to remove the beadboard. I'm just worried about what's underneath. I'm hoping that they just installed the beadboard because they liked it, not because they were hiding something underneath. Although I did have a peek and there's definitely wallpaper underneath, which could be a big, big job to remove. I've never actually removed wallpaper, so maybe that's maybe that's why they did the beadboard. I don't know. But yeah, I really want to remove that um, ceiling trim there and then figure out what to do. And then a big project I want to do is to build doors for this closet. And the closet is so wide. It needs doors. I hate the curtains there. I'm not really sure, like, how to build doors for here or what, but the curtains just feel messy to me. I would rather have a hard surface a door that I can just shut. So I feel like this room is actually quickly becoming the next priority on the main level. Yeah, I want to focus for now on the main level um, in the studio. So I think this room is probably what needs the most attention at this point because I'm pretty happy with the office. I'm a lot happier now with the dark blue now that it's the office. For some reason, it's it feels better. So that's a good thing. Um, yeah, so I think I'm going to shift my focus to this what's now the den and leave the office alone for now. Okay, I'm going to go make some dinner.